So will the Minister now confirm that there is no doubt whatsoever that the United Kingdom Government owes Iran £400 million pounds for tanks the Iranian Government paid for but were never supplied? Secondly, that the Prime Minister, when Foreign Secretary, he pledged that that debt would be paid. And it is further acknowledged that when it is paid, Nazanin will be released. So can the Minister use his undoubted influence with the Prime Minister <laughs> to get him to make it his, now his top priority to resolve this issue, to get Nazanin released and returned home to her husband and her daughter, because it's the Prime Minister's moral duty to do so. I too want to recognise the commitment and huge sacrifice uh, that's been shown by Mr Ratcliffe and the families of other British detainees in, in seeking the release and the return of their loved ones detained in Iran. We continue to call on Iran to end Nazanin's suffering immediately and to allow her to return home to her family in the UK. But I do need to be clear, in place of my friend uh, and colleague, Noble Lord Ahmed, who's not here to answer the question, that the UK does not and never will accept our dual nationals being used as diplomatic leverage. Our priority is securing Nazanin's immediate release so that she can be reunited with her family. Do we owe money to Iran? If we do, why isn't it being paid? Yeah. 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 My Lords, the, uh, the payment of the IMS is a long-standing case relating to a historic debt owed to pre-revolution Iran, and we continue to explore options, as I said before, to resolve this case.